It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Doug's Boom Barrel. Barrel aged barley wine coming in at 11% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. Gold bottle cap. I'm going to do something extremely rare for you guys. Normally I get the beer out into a glass. I'm straight into the beer review. But I want to read this description. This is a barley wine. But... Not only that, it's also an imperial stout, infused cognac, cocoa, vanilla and tonka bean, barrel aged barley wine. It's a mouthfeel in the best of ways, completely unique, boom. Wow, this is going to be some beer. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Massive thank you to Hakan for sending me the beer. Thank you very, very much, Hakan. Um, I want to say very quickly, um, my daughter's got hold of the paperwork, the map you sent. And um, it, it basically got fed to the dog. Um, that's the best way I can kind of come across and explain this. Um, so, so, my apologies. I don't have the, the map anymore, so I can't play that game of, of where the beer is. Where does it come from in Sweden? So, apologies. Um, Doug's makes some terrific beer. I've had some great stuff in the past. It looks good. Heads dissipated very quickly. We've got lo lovely slow-moving carbonation. Definitely looks like a barley wine. But strangely, as I was talking about my dog eating the map, or my kid feeding the dog the map, I had a nose of the, the beer as it passed through, as I was probably waving my arms around, excited about this beer, and I picked up some kind of like Imperial Stout, strangely, somehow. <laughs> uh, what what uh, complete and utter bonkers nose on this beer. Cognac, cocoa, vanilla. Cacao nibs. A little bit of malt, like like malted barley kind of aroma. It smells incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, 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 wow. That, that's nuts. That's insane. I gotta put that down. Uh, Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! What an incredible, incredible beer! You raised a funny, I could see myself drinking it in the in the viewfinder of this camera. I could see one of my eyes shut at one stage, and then, my, and then I think this eyebrow shot up like this. Um, what a, an absolute head! I don't swear on the channel, but a head that is. Um, yeah, it's a barley wine, without a shadow of a doubt. Looks like a barley wine, tastes like a barley wine. It's got that strength of a barley wine. You can feel a little bit of the alcohol hitting your throat, moving down into the pit of your stomach. You get a little bit of the alcohol warmth in the pit of the stomach. It is 11% ABV. But then, but then all sorts of weird stuff starts happening then. You get vanilla, which makes your mind think about imperial stout. And then you get... The cacao nibs and the what was that? Um, tonka bean. The tonka bean mixed with the vanilla gives this weird, like coconutty, somehow stout-like flavour. Somehow, somehow, this is a barley wine and an imperial stout, all kind of like mashed 
somehow mashed in together. That is just, that's one of the most crazy, crazy beers. Crazy in a good way that we've ever reviewed on the channel. Absolute mind bending, pulled my palate to, to the absolute limit in terms of trying to describe the beer. Like, like I wanted to go over one direction, and then I wanted to go over another direction. Um, thank goodness I wasn't crossing a road. I, I would have been knocked down. Mouthfeel. Creamy, rich, lush mouthfeel. Sweet. There's a level of sweetness in there. Absolutely. But then there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end to help balance the beer. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. How they sat, how Doug's sat down and worked this out on paper was to, to go, oh, we'll do this and we'll add a bit of this and we'll barrel age it and we'll, we'll do a bit of... How they managed to kind of work this I don't maybe it was a complete accident maybe they thought let's brew a barley wine we'll add some tonka and vanilla and 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 cognac and see what happens and maybe they just tripped up on this and then they barrel aged it in oak you get a little bit of the vanilla the oakiness coming through the woodiness maybe it was a complete kind of as I just said, a complete accident. I don't know. Um, to be able to sit down and come up with this on paper would be... It's like, it would be like mastermind kind of, kind of, kind of brewing. That is just... One of the most unique flavoursome, head-smashing, freak beer we've ever reviewed on the channel. But you know what? I love it. I, I love this beer. It's just... The, I, I don't think I'm doing it justice. I don't think I'm... Because I'm, it's just blown my mind. I think the best thing you guys can do would be to buy a bottle of this and, and just try it yourself. Tonka, cacao, vanilla, cognac, chocolate, coffee, caramel. Of course, it's a barley wine. There's, there's a lot of barley wine qualities as well in the beer. It's got the mouthfeel of a barley wine. It definitely feels like a barley wine in the mouth. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. So the ingredients, uh, they're in Swedish, so um, bear with me. Cacao, vanilla, tonka bean. Hummel, which may mean malt. Uh, oh, we have some English. Uh, water, barley, oats, cocoa, vanilla, tonka bean, hops, yeast. Just, that is just amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.